Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G7 laptop. The exact model is a Dell G7 157588. The regulatory model is a P72F002. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for this one. If your battery is not holding up any more charge, it will be getting randomly shut down after 80% of charge, then you might want to replace your battery. I'll leave the link for the tools and the new battery in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. And this applies for any G715 series laptop. By replacing the battery, you're not going to change any configuration or anything like that. It's just simply plug in and play. And I'll give you a little tip at the end of the video how you can make your battery last a little bit longer and the proper take uh, use. All right. Number one tool is just a simple screwdriver set. We're going to be using iFixit screwdriver set and we're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. Now, on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a single screw on the back and this screw will not come out entirely. It just has a little C lock on the other side that will prevent from the screw coming out. So all you need to do is to twist this screw and then you see the cover open it up and makes a nice click sound. Once you hear those click sounds, you want to let go. And then you want to put your fingers on the bottom and then you just want to pull the cover upward and slide it towards the back of the laptop. And after that, you can see the battery right in here. One, two, three, four cell batteries. Battery, I mean. Now to disconnect the battery, we're going to wait on that. We're going to first remove one, two, three screws on the battery. So remove these three screws. You don't need to remove the screw on this side. Okay, once you remove the screws, all you need to do, lift it up from this corner, slide it back so you can release this bottom side here. Bring it up, twist it. Now you can, you can pull it from here, but I will leave it, just leave it there. And just pull this connector backward evenly. Like that, and there we go. And there's your battery. Once you bought the battery, they don't, it doesn't come with a cable, so you need to use this cable. Is that 56? This is already blown up a little bit. You can feel it that it's blown up the cells. 56 watt hour battery. The exact battery type is a 33 YBH. I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in a video description. Let's say that you got the new battery. You want to plug in the connector. The connector only goes in one way. So do not try to put it the other way around, otherwise, you're going to damage the board. Put it in and squeeze it all the way, make sure all the pins are inside and then flip it over, bring it in, put this corner side down, slide it in there and set it down and tighten up the screws right on top. One on the corner and two on this side. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and support and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. All right, once you put the battery in there, you wanna grab the bottom cover Slide down the front end down and squeeze the corners and tighten up the screw. I forgot this side. There we go. Tighten up the screw right on top. Now, regarding the use of the battery, I do not recommend you guys to power on the laptop once you put the battery in, the new one. So you, before turning it on, connect the charger, leave it charging at least for five to six hours. After five to six hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected and let it drain the battery by putting a 50% brightness, videos, movies, but do not put uh, stress on it. Let it drain the battery down to 40 or 30%. Once it's drained down to the lowest it can go, power it off, connect the charger, and leave it charging on an off state for at least another five to six hours. After that, you can turn it on the way you wanna use it, plugged in, not plugged in, and do whatever you wanna do. That first initial charge and discharge is really, really important for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.